Hey, this is Dan from Fred's Top. Today I'm going to be doing um, Good Riddance by Green Day. Okay, so I've seen a lot of videos out there for this one, and um, to tell you the truth, no one's really done the finger picking part, um, which is really the best part in my opinion. Um, so I'm going to teach you that today, and um, a little bit of strumming, but it's pretty easy um, once you know the finger picking to do the strumming. So. Uh, probably won't worry about that too much, but um, okay. There's uh, there's four or yeah, there's four chords you're gonna need to know for this. Um, the first one is G9, um, which is basically just a G, and you're making sure you're putting your ring and pinky fingers on the third fret of the B and E strings. Um, so you get that little like twang in there. Um, so make sure you have those down. Uh, the next one is C9. You're going to be moving your m middle and ring fingers down one string each. So from G to C9. Um, you need no D, which is pretty obvious. Um, and E minor. Uh, and that's it. So. If you know those four chords, you should be alright. Um, okay, so the verse and the first half of the, or the intro and the first half of the verse are um, going to be exactly the same. So I'm going to teach you that part now. There's really, uh, there's really like three parts. I'm going to break it up into three parts that you need to know. Um, so the first one's going to go from D or from G to C9, and then to D. Um, but you're playing the G part um, half, the, half the time, half the beats. Um, so that's going to sound like this. Okay. What I'm doing there. Um, basically, I'm going to focus on my right hand. So. The bass note's changing every time you change a chord, but the, the bass note is the first note that you hit. And then um, that little riff after that is exactly the same, no matter what chord you're on, you're, you're going to pluck the exact same strings. Um, so the strings that you're plucking for that are going to be the G string, the B string, back to the G string, the D string, and then back to the G string. Um, so it's kind of hard to explain if you're not um, watching it, but so you're gonna go G. So yeah, I'll get a little closer here. So it's just this. Now that's exactly the same every time. And then the bass note's gonna change. Right now it's the low E string. So. So if you can get that down, you'll be all right. And then the bass note is the only thing that's changing. Um, and you're going to hit that one with your thumb, the bass note with your thumb. So, um, Like I said, for the G, it's going to be the, the low E string is going to be your bass note. So, um, For the C9, it's going to be the A string. So you're hitting that A string. And then the... For the D, it's going to be the D string. Um, so that's pretty straightforward. So you're just going from uh, E string to A string to D string on that. So you're just moving down one string every time, um, which is pretty simple. Okay, that's going to go, the intro, you're going to play that twice, and then you're going to play it twice during the first verse. Um, then he's going to switch to a different pattern, um, which goes from E minor to D to C9 and then to G. Um, so everything's going to be the same, the D, the C9, and the G. They're all going to have the same bass notes, everything, um, same as the intro. Um, you're just adding the E minor in there. Um, so for the E minor, uh, well, I'll, I'll just play it to 
show you how it's played, but... Okay. So, for the E minor, um, same thing, just E minor, you're leaving all these strings open, bottom three strings are open, and uh, you're hitting the A string, so same as the C9. It's actually you you're picking the exact same way as a C9 just your your uh your left hand is in a different position so I'm plucking this string the A string um D is the same C is the same and G is the same so I'm not going to go through that again um just uh you know rewind if you have to okay um now what uh, he does that, actually he does switch, um, he switches when he says, uh, after he says directs you where to go, then he switches into, uh, into that E minor part. And then for the chorus, and I'm referring to the chorus as the part that he says, um, something unpredictable, in the end it's right, that part, um, that's gonna go E minor to G, E minor, then back to G, and then E minor to D to G. Um, so that's going to sound like this. Um, same pattern, same picking, everything. Uh, hitting the A note for the for the E minor, the E the E string, or sorry, the A string for the E minor and the G string the E string for the G, sorry, and then um, uh, the D string for the D. So that's pretty straightforward. Um, if you can get the, the finger picking down, uh, you'll be okay. Um, I'll go over the strumming real quick. Um, it's, kind of, it's kind of a fast strumming pattern actually, but um, it's going to sound something like this. So yeah, just uh, I mean you can listen to the song, but uh, but uh, after the first verse and the first chorus, then you start strumming if you listen to it. Um, so you can just strum actually the rest of the song till the end. Um, he goes back to finger picking a little bit for the end there. Uh, but uh, if you can get that done, you'll be fine, and you can play this whole song. Um, I'll have a tab posted at fretstop.com in the lesson section. Uh, you can check that out if you need any help, um, but other than that, have a great day and good luck with the song.